Okay, good morning each and everyone. Good morning students. This is Pritam Karmakar and I'm your new art teacher for this academic year 2020 and 21. Uh, so what can anyone tell me what was the previous topic I have taught you in the class? Just drop a message in the chat box. Just drop a message in the chat box. Yes, Karthik Kamle, who is this? Uh, just turn off your camera. The girl sitting in the right front, just turn off your camera. Okay, can you tell me what was the previous topic? Yes, it was a birthday celebration topic. Yes, so how many students have completed the birthday celebration topic? Come on, raise your hand. Just raise your hand. How many students have completed? Okay, very good. So there are many students who have completed. Okay, very good. So today what we are going to do, we are going to do a landscape drawing. Can anyone tell me what, do you know what is the landscape drawing? Yes. Do you know what is landscape drawing? Anyone? Just drop a message in the chat box. Just drop a message in the chat box. Is there? See, just look at this. Just look at it. Okay. This is how you're going to draw the scenery. Okay. Here you can see whenever you're drawing. First, draw the margin of 2 cm. Mention today's date, that is the 29th of September 2020. Okay. And mention today's topic. Your today's topic is landscape. Okay. So today's topic is landscape. Before starting with the drawing, draw the border of 2 cm. Mention today's date. Mention today's, uh, you know, mention to this topic, and then this is how you're going to do. Whenever you're drawing, draw, take the draw it very lightly. If you do uh, some mistakes, so that you can easily rub it off. Okay, and here I'm using my watercolor. You can do it with pencil color. You can do it with uh, crayons also. Okay, and you can use oil pastels also. Okay, so here I have got my watercolor with me and just look at this. Here I'm started doing this. I can see students who have turned on their cameras. Sara Kureshi, please stop your video. If I find anyone turning on the you know, video, it, that particular... Okay, so this is how you're going to do it. And then now we are going to start with the house part. So... I started uh, coloring the house. So first I'm using ochre yellow color. Start color with the house. Here I'm coloring started with the ochre yellow. You can color the house with your own uh, ideas if you want. Okay. With your own color schemes you can color the house. Just look at this. The darker tone you can use. This is the darker part. So here I'm using a dark shade. Just look at this. This is how you are going to do it. And for coloring the uh, front side, here I have used ochre yellow. And now I am using a fresh yellow. What I am going to do, I am going to merge the color now. Okay. I'm going to merge the color. Just look at this for showing the lighter tone and the darker tone. Yes. So this is how you're going to do it. 
same way the another house nutan i want you to turn off your camera there it will be darker in shade because the light is not able to fall okay and doing it darker same way over here on this side same way dark brown color shade just look at this this is how you are going to do it yes now what we are going to do as we have completed this what we are going to do we are going to you know we are going to color the ground okay we are going to color the land okay with a green color shade as this is a village scenery so we are going to do to color this with a uh, green color so there is the all there is all greenery on the side and everywhere first how i am doing i am using a yellow color lime yellow okay the light yellow just look at this here i have used a light yellow now what i am going to do i am going to mix green color okay just look at this just look at this this is how you are going to color it just have a look this is how you are going to color okay after doing this what you are going to do here comes the darker where the light cannot fall much okay so there is a dark tone over here just look at this this is how you are going to do it merge the color properly yes merge the color over here just look at this this is how you are going to do it you can take some brown color and ochre yellow color and show some ground part thing over here in this part there is a muddy thing muddy over here okay uh, as you completed with this again coming to this part do it nicely just take some yellow making some fresh yellow color over here just look at it. this is how you are going to do it coming to this part here i am giving some shades dark shade on this part okay so this is how you are going to do it same coming to this part as you can see the colors are very fresh over here because it's very front of my eye side so this is why it is fresh in color okay this is why it is fresh in color just look at this this is how you are going to color the landscape we are going to add the details 
later on as the color gets dry we are going to add the detailing part okay so just look at this this is how you're going to color the land okay and then what is remaining is the i will show you now how to color the trees okay just look at the first i am using yellow color okay on the top here i am using yellow color you can see yes why i am using yellow to show the lighter tone okay to show the lighter tone where the sunlight is falling much then comes the middle tone so for that i am using some you know green color over here just look at this okay using some green tone just look at this and then to show the dark tone what i'm going to do is i'm going to take green color and dark blue color together okay green color and dark blue color together to make a dark green okay for making a dark green shade i have mixed i have mixed it just look at this this is how the dark green shade is made in the center or anywhere you can add this just look at this this is how you can do it sorry yeah okay so this is how you can color the trees just look at this yes and add the shades over here yeah just look at this yes and now same way to the other one another so first i'm using yellow color from the top i'm using yellow color just look at it yes after using yellow i'm using light green color i'm going to merge it just look at this now i'm going to merge the color just look at this and to show the dark tone i'm going to add blue and the dark blue and green for making the darker tone just look at this this is how you're going to do it so this is how you are going to do just look at this yes after doing this we are going to highlight the trees over here in the front i'm adding some grass for making this i am using some green and dark green here i have given the green now i am adding some dark green shades as you can see over here yes same way you can do it just look at this you can add the detailings of this just look at this this is how you can detail it okay so this is how you are going to do it after doing it this is a later on part and what you are going to do now is we are going to color the water so here i am taking a blue shade and here i am coloring the water just look at this
okay after doing it i'm going to add some yellow because the, there is a reflection of sun falling on the water okay so here i'm doing some yellow okay after doing this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a dark blue shade and add some dark you know dark shade on the water over here to get a proper wavy like effect yes just look at this this is how you are going to do it i hope each and every one is understanding how to do this this is the wavy like thing on the water you can add some dark shade in this and get a proper look of the water just look at this yes i hope each and every one is understanding this this is the shadow of the boat so here it's darker in shade Just look at this. This is how we have uh, done the water. Now I am going to color the boat. Okay. Now I am going to color the boat with the uh, ochre yellow. Some mixing some black in this. Okay. Mixing some black in this, and then here I am coloring the boat. Just look at this. this is the way how i am coloring the boat okay so here comes the boat okay and then this is the stick over here just look at this this is the way how i how i am doing it Here it is a darker shade over here in this part inside the boat. Just look at this. And now, what I'm what I'm going to do is this is the cloth. Okay, this is the cloth over here. Here I'm coloring the cloth. Just look at this. Yes, this is the way how you're going to color the cloth over here. And this is the color of the roof. Yes. And now the only thing which is remaining is the man over here standing in here. Okay, I hope each and everyone can see this. I'm coloring this man with a blue shirt and a red lungi. You can see. Okay, so this is how I have done over here. Now there is some parts remaining to color the water. So I'm going to color it. Color the remaining part over here, as you can see. Okay, and then adding some dark tones in that to get a proper shade of the water. So just look at this. This is the way how you're going to do it. Yes. Just look at this. This is the way how you're going to do it. As you can see, we have almost done. And now, 
I'm going to color the sky. So coloring this for coloring the sky, first I'm taking a red color, okay, and giving a shade over here in this part. Yes. So just look at this. Just look at the shade of the sky. Yes. I hope each and everyone can see this. And now from this corner, from the left hand side, I'm going to do it blue color. Just look at this. Yes, I hope each and everyone is getting this, how to do it. Just look at this. This is the sky effect and you can see the clouds over here from the from this part to this. This is how it's, it is going. Okay. Just look at this. This is how you're going to do it. And the only thing which is remaining is a uh, is this part. Just look at this. This is how you're going to add the shade. Just look at this. This is how I've given a dark brown and then I'm giving a light ochre yellow shade to get a smooth tone. Just look at this. Yes, this is how you're going to do it. And then again, if you want, you can add some dark brown shade in this. Okay, so this is a, you know, bunch of grass which is put in same manner and now here I'm again drawing some coloring the trees on the back okay so this is how you I'm going to do it this is the way how I'm coloring it just look at this this is the way how I'm doing it just look at the shading how I am doing it same way you can also do it Yes, this is the way how you're going to do it. Now, I'm going to color the banana, uh, sorry, uh, yes, the banana leaf, the banana leaf, you can see the banana tree over there. These are the banana leaves. First, I'm giving a dark green border to this, okay? This is how I'm doing it. dark green border I have given in this okay and now I'm going to add light green just look at this yes we have completed this and now the coconut tree is remaining yes so for coloring the stamp of the coconut tree here i'm taking a dark brown shade here i'm taking a dark brown shade and here i go this is the co the stamp of the coconut tree just look at this is the stamp of the coconut tree coming right on the top up this is the second one same way dark brown color shade just look at this this is the dark brown color shade over here okay and now we are going to do we are going to color the <coughs> leave of the coconut tree so just look at this
okay so this is how you are going to do it just look at this yes so how this is how you're going to do it and at the end you can see this the doors and the windows <clears throat> i'm going to get the proper highlights okay add the detailing adding the detailing part of the house okay just look at this Just look at this. This is how you are going to add the details. Yes, and what you can do still, what you can do, you can still highlight the house. Just look at this, give a proper outlines, and you can add the house over here. You can add some this kind of textures. okay going from the back side of the house okay the trees from the back side of the house and this is how we have done and now what you can do you can just give some much more adding shadings detailing part over here draw so you know you can draw some glass okay so here i'm coloring the sun just look at this i'm taking a yellow Just look at this. Yes, each and every one is understanding how to do it. And at the end, at the last, what you can do is you can take a black color marker or a pen and you can draw some birds flying in the sky. Is there any doubt to any of the students? They can ask me. You can just drop a message in the chat box. Is there any doubt? Akshita, why are you turning on the 